Hello, I'm Angelina, and you are watching Kids Fun and Science. Today, I'll be reviewing Swift Playgrounds. I like Swift Playground because it is fun and it teaches you programming while playing a game at the same time. Swift Playground is a programming language for children. It is very much free and it is only on iPad. Apple made it a few years ago as a school curriculum for grade 4 and up, but I am grade 3 and I still love it. I added a link in the description down below. So let's get started. So once you open the app, there are these little um, playgrounds that you can download. We're going to be doing Learn to Code 1 right now. So here's the introduction. We're going to be doing the introduction of Learn to Code 1. Commands. Have you ever followed a recipe to bake something delicious? Ooh, I have. Or followed instructions to assemble something cool? I have done that too. You need to follow the instructions in the correct order or you'll end up with something unexpected. Writing a code allows you to create your own set of instructions for your iPad to carry out. Your goal is to figure out which instructions in which order will result in something great. You'll start by writing command to move a character named Byte around a puzzle world performing tasks. For example, you'll tell Byte to move forward. So here's move forward, there's the command right there. Or click the gem. So there's com another command as you can see. Notice the mash Together words, code is punctuated and spaced like human languages, but commands have no spaces in between words. You see, they're mashed up together. Commands always end with parentheses. You'll see why later. I would actually really call them brackets, plus they literally look like brackets. Plus, parentheses are kind of hard to say, so let's start coding. So here's the first one to tell you. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm actually going to switch the character to someone else. So you just tap on the little character, and then you switch it to one of these. I'm going to choose this guy. The little teardrop. Blue. His name is Blue. I like, I like how he looks. He's so wiggly. <laughs> okay, so let's start coding. So we only have two commands right now. I've actually played through this before so I already know a lot of the things but I'll explain it just for you. So right so right now we have to get him to move forward and collect the gem. So we're going to use the command move forward and you're going to move forward again and move forward again and then you're going to collect the gem. Let's see if that works. Just like that. So here, so we're done with that. So let's go to the next page. Where are you? Okay, you're there. So right now, this is adding a new command. So we're adding a new command, which is apparently turning. And I like this. I like this. This is. I like how you got a little island with stones and grass and water falling down into somewhere. Imagine if he falls into the water. Will the water just go forever down? Whatever. Let's just start coding. So we're supposed to get him to collect the gem. So first, so we obviously we need to move forward two times and then we need to turn left. That's the new command that was added. And then move forward two times again. And then collect the gem. I'm not actually sure about what I did, so I'm just going to run the code and see if it worked. It did work. Spin around. Ooh, little stone. Is that a stone man? Like a snowman, but it's just made out of stones? You know? Even though no one has heard about that. So we're going to next one called toggling a switch. So right now, oh, this is actually so we need to collect one gem and also toggle the switch. 
So this is another new command called toggle switch. So we're gonna move forward two times, turn left, and then turn left, and then um, move forward, collect gem, move forward, turn left again, and then move forward. <laughs> That's a lot. And then toggle switch. It works. I'm not going to move forward any more times. Come on. Yes. Yes. You're doing good. Up the stairs. No. Let's run my code again. See if it works. I just need to add one more command. Yes, fantastic. And in the next video, we will be doing a portal practice. These are the other lessons that we're going to be doing. Portal practice. Finding and fixing bugs, like bugs in computer code, and bug squash practice. That's a name. Are we squashing a bug, like a computer bug? Are we squashing a computer bug? Do those even exist? Like a literal bug in the computer? Okay, so I'm going to end this video here. If you like this video, hit the like button, and you may want to stay tuned for my next video about Swift Playgrounds. And also subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. And I'll see you next time. Bye!